what up YouTube it's your boy XL here and if you click this video you obviously want to learn how to get legend easily in this game now the easiest way to get legend in this game you gotta be a center it took me about what 659 wins to get legend it took most people 800 to a thousand games if you're a point guard and you don't really care about your grade like that but being a center it is so easy to get an A plus all you have to do is get rebounds pass the ball and dunk those are the only three things that you have to worry about in this game for point guards you have a lot of pressure on you because you gotta score a lot and you gotta try to get past the defender and you gotta play good defense now the easiest way to go on my part and receive W's is to have a plan and make sure that your dude has at least a 95 overall. See my center, my center is a 99 overall so it was super easy for me to win games because I knew what I was doing, I knew how to use my player and I've been using this guy since the game first came out. Now to get legend really easy make sure that you play with the right people never play with randoms randoms usually don't care about you and they don't care if they receive the w randoms usually just fuck around and toss up threes the whole game make sure that you find somebody that you trust and somebody that knows how to play the game well now right here i'm showing you guys all the animation that i got as a legend one you know i get the kick pass the skywalker i got the the new dance animations signature introductions I mean being a legend one it wasn't really like a big deal for me it was just a sense of relief that I finally got legend one you know you know but legend one is probably everybody's like ultimate goal just to get it it didn't take me a long time it only took me about mm, about four weeks to get to legend one but make sure that you win a lot you should not be taking L after L make sure that you go on how win streaks make sure that you go at least on over a 10 game win streak when you go to the park another tip is don't play threes i never ever tried to play threes i never ran threes i always went on the twos the twos the games end very quickly and it's keeps so you'll get the ball back if you score and basically everything is all right until you fuck up so make sure that you and your teammate know what you are doing and if you if you're gonna run threes make sure that you have two shooters and one center it should never be all point guards because if it's all point guards who's gonna get the rebounds all right another tip is make sure that you have on your my park affiliations clothes i'm telling you bro if you put on your my park affiliations clothes you gain so much more rep i mean people think that it doesn't give you rep but it really does and this is coming from a legend it really does give you a lot of rep and you should make sure that you have these clothes on if you want to try to rank up quickly because if you don't have one of clothes it'll take you so much longer to get into wherever you want to be and you see right now i'm a 99 overall i got 35 badges you know i have everything that i need to be on my part and go on win streaks and the tip is and try not to dance or celebrate after you win a game because there's a rumor going around that you get more rep for not celebrating. Now, as you can see in this screenshot, I have 658 wins and 270 losses. It only took me one more game to get to legend. Now, I want to talk about the rep system. All Star 1 and 2 is probably the slowest bar in the All Star category. I breezed through All-Star 3, 4, and 5 and went straight to Legend when I was a center because it was just that easy. Now, when I was an All-Star 1, it took me, i see, about a week and a half to get to All-Star 2. All-Star 2 wasn't that slow, but it was kind of slow, but I still got through it. Now, All-Star 3, 4, and 5 was where it started speeding up. All-Star 3 was quick, All-Star 4 was quicker, and All-Star 5 was the quickest. Because when I was an All-Star 5, I really wanted to get Legend, so I was really grinding like that. So I got it in about two and a half days. That's how long it took me to get to all from All-Star 5 to Legend. And make sure that when you're playing, that you always go on win streaks. That's the most important thing, because after you go on a three-game win streak, you get double rep. 
and make sure that you don't always play with one uh, specific player. Make sure that you switch it up between a point guard and a center. You should always try to be different because if you just go straight point guard, it might take you even longer to become a legend than it would than switching it back and forth between point guard and center. Another tip is make sure that you end the game with a good grade. The lowest grade that you should try to end the game with is probably a B or a B plus. You should never try to go under that. If you got a B minus, just keep on trying to pass the ball back and forth and try to get good ball movement or a good pass. Try to get something to improve your grade. Another thing is make sure that your center is 7-3 with offensive crasher, defensive crasher. And make sure that they have, you know, a little mid-range jumper so they can knock down shots if needed to. Me personally, I didn't think about upgrading my jump shooter that, uh, that high. I upgraded like three bars and I maxed out my playmaking. And that was a really big mistake. I wish I could take it back, but it's too late now. Uh, another tip is make sure that your point guard is no taller than 6'3 or 6'4. The reason why I'm saying this is the taller you are, the slower you are. Uh, you'll shoot worse here, you'll be slower, and your playmaking will be ass. So make sure that you're about 6'2", six, 6'3", six, and at the minimum, I say about 5'10", five, 5'7", five, because if you're 5'7", you'll have a 94 speed, and your jump shooter, it'll max out with a, a 94 standing shot mid and a 94 standing shot 3, and you'll have a 94 steal also. At 5'10", you'll be pretty decent but the bad thing about being short is that people will go right right past you if they're driving baseline like if you're a 510 or 57 people will slide right across from you and just dunk the ball or lay it up because i don't know 2k is stupid as fuck with this new defensive shit the defensive shit didn't do anything people still can go right past you but that's all i got for today uh thank you for watching my video and i'll see you guys next time peace Playboy, your time's up. Where them gangsters at? Where them